what? Two is what? I, 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 what about abortion? Oh my God, I just said what about abortion? I just said it out loud. Why did I say that out loud? Okay, then I started rationalizing to myself. Okay, I know it's a sin, but since I didn't use birth control when I had sex, if I have an abortion, I would only be committing two sins. <laughs> and that's better than three sins, and so God would see that I was trying to be good, and from now on, God, I promise, no more sex, I will only get blowjobs. <laughs> we are pro-life. Abortion is against our law. Our law? Whoa, whoa. Uh, I, thought, I had no idea abortion was against our law. I thought, I thought abortion was, was legal. I mean, I knew it was a sin, you know, but I thought it was like, a legal sin, like eating meat on Friday. <laughs> I didn't want to play, break our law. I didn't want. I didn't want to be a criminal. Shit, I'm, I was a criminal. Now I'm a criminal, and I asked her to break the law with me, and now I'm a law-breaking whore. And this doctor knew it, and she's probably going to report me. And now I don't know what to do. I, I was having a hard time hearing her, and I was just so scared of who she was and of who I was and. I was scared that she would send me to jail, and I, I, I was scared that I, I was no turning back, and, and that I just wanted to get out. I just wanted to get out of there. I didn't care where I went, but I just needed to go out of there anywhere. I had nothing figured out. I was 17. And I got up to leave, and as I walked to the door, I said in her general direction, I, I just need some time to think about my choices. Good idea. Take all the time you need. And then came the clincher. Remember, and she looked down at her clipboard to recall my name, Liz. Your choices are mommy or murder. I walked out. She had just reaffirmed everything I had feared. I am a dumb bitch. I am a dumb whore, and now I'm a criminal. She worked very hard to define me. This woman, with her lab coat and her laws, who spent her days impersonating the two types of people outside of parents who most teenagers trust the most, a physician and a person of God. And on this gray winter day, she looked at me, a completely clueless, clearly incapable 17 year old girl right in the face and confirmed we're not talking about your life your life is insignificant how could she say that when she was pro-life especially when she wasn't pro my life how indeed i was desperate for guidance for someone for whom i could say Please help me figure this out. Help me figure out who I am. Help me grow, help me experience, and help me learn. Help me weed out the things that hold me back and help me mature and nurture the things that make me flourish so that I can give back in whatever life that is. But this woman didn't see any worth in that. That wasn't her job. She was invested only in keeping me inexperienced vulnerable and insecure. And the hailstorm of fear she rained down upon me was to ensure that I remained manageable. Manageable. Because in order to keep the world going the way she liked it, I needed to be not what I wanted to be, but what she and her belief system needed me to be. I turned my back on her that day. Her tactics preyed upon my fear. But my own fear was that her purpose was going to kill my potential. It was greater. I would not let it stand. I didn't know much about what was happening to me that day, but even I knew her behavior and her belief system was not pro-life. It was, to me, profane. 